Hello everyone, I'm Peter Albrecht. And I'm Devin Walsh. Thanks for joining us tonight. First on five, Alabama's new gang prevention law is now in effect. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is here now. Haley, you spoke with the police chief today about what he thinks this law is going to do for the city. Yeah, Chief Paul Prine says get, this law will be a game changer for the city. It only takes three out of the ten listed criteria to be identified and charged as a member of a gang. From a family member saying you're in a gang, to using gang hand signs, to having a tattoo that is used by a gang. When I tell you the game has changed uh, for any criminal enterprise operating in the city of Mobile, that game has changed. And it's important that the youth in our community understand that because if they're convicted, they're going to be sitting in jail for a very long time. Before the law took into effect, prison time for a Class A crime would start at 10 years. Now, for offenders who meet three out of the 10 criteria, the minimum is now 25 years. District Attorney Keith Blackwood explained some of the other enhancements. There's an enhancement for carrying a firearm in the course of one of these organized crimes. Uh, there is an enhancement for brandishing a firearm. Uh, an enhancement for firing a firearm, uh, and then there are enhanced sentencing enhancements for certain types of firearms. For having weapons with Glock switches in your possession, that's automatically 30 years in prison. Glock switches turn semi-automatic guns fully automatic. We've had some issues with these retaliatory shootings where there has been gang activity, and this is very important for the young people in our community to know that the game has changed. Chief Bryan says most gang members in Mobile are between ages 15 and 25. Now anyone 16 and older will be tried as an adult for gang related crimes. Those will automatically come to uh, adult court and uh, the, those people from age 16 on uh, will not be prosecuted at Strickland Youth Center but will um, be prosecuted here uh, at the courthouse as adults. Although no arrests have been made just yet under this new law, Prime thinks that this will have long-term impacts for the city of Mobile. Crime going down uh, creates a quality of life that all Mobilians want to enjoy, and this is going to help be serve as a deterrent uh, for those type of criminal activity. This law went into effect September 1st. In the studio, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5. Thanks.